You can now send in pictures or videos of innovations or projects being worked on by you or someone you know. All you need to do is download the Channels TV mobile app, launch and tap the menu on the top left, click on the eyewitness section. You'd see a camera feature both at the top right and bottom right. Click on any. You'd see an option to either take a picture, record a video or upload from your gallery. Select what you want to upload, give a description, add a report title and in this case, tech trends forward slash my innovation. Add your name and you can also include a number for a follow up. Agree to the terms and submit your report. You can also share via our social media handles showing on the screen using the hashtag my innovation on tech trends. I caught up with the program's director of Silicon Based Advisory Group at Debi Yoke, and I started by asking him how technology can solve some of our pressing national issues. Um, there are several ways, I believe, and um, professionally we believe that, you know, um, governments can actually help in solving so many of our national issues using technology. Um, it starts and begins with uh, policy making in the first place. Um, if the federal and state governments can actually you know, um, play their roles in policy formation as regards helping the people to overcome certain costs, we believe that you know, um, technology will solve most of our problems. It's, it's already actually doing so in some areas, but it's not achieving the required mileage. Take for instance the fiber optic um, infrastructure companies. I believe quite well that if governments would support them, the right of way will be will be less of an issue, and they will be able to you know deploy all of this infrastructure, and people can actually you know benefit from them as much as possible. You know, you mentioned this issue of right of way, and <laughs> this issue has I mean, been on for like forever. I mean, how do we solve it once and for all? I mean, we're talking about 2019 here. Yeah, I believe the reason why we can't solve this issue is because of the greed of the government of the day. Um, they would want to make money from everything they can lay their hands on, but it's painful that um, they're not being creative about this. They are not looking at the fact that if um, they do not take the fees that comes from the right of way, if they do not take their fees and they allow this to actually happen, of course, with some high-level uh, uh, um, uh, control in terms of deployment, and they actually map out where they want this um, infrastructure to go. We believe that this can actually make the necessary impact. The monies they are getting from the, or they are looking at getting from the right of way, can actually be getting out of the usage the, the, the populace actually do, um, how they use the technology in the long run, how they use the internet to solve their problems. Today, people are paying through their noses for um, data subscriptions and all of that. And why they're doing that is not just for the fun of it. They are doing that so that they can actually be productive in one way or the other. So I sincerely believe that if government should take that out of place and out, 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 out of the way, and internet is actually, you know, uh, um, deployed across several uh, um, states and um, local governments, we believe that people can adopt this thing and even education will become a lot better and literacy levels also will improve. So Adebi, um, I mean, let's get down to specifics. I mean, if, if you take, say, two industries, say healthcare and maybe education, what are some of the specific ways that you believe that technology can at least change the face of these industries in the country today? Fortunately, we've been able to actually, you know, deploy some level of technology in across these two sectors we've talked about, health and education. And we've been able to measure impact over time and seeing how it's actually improved the way they do things and in terms of, um, in terms of their efficiency and, and productivity as well. What do you regard as the greatest enabler that will help us advance the growth of technology in the country? Now, the, looking generally at what we're doing today, what I think seriously think and I will keep going back to it is still government policy you know it's going to be a massive if government is able to actually do certain how about education actually, education is good but education still comes from some level of uh, um, um, policy 
uh, are making as well. Because if you look at if you look at um, education today, education functions more from the private sector rather than from the public sector. So in terms of um, the public sector, how do you place children who are not all young ones who are not able to get the opportunities that so many other people who are getting the opportunity in the private sector are doing? A whole lot of young people actually want to do much more, but they lack the exposure. And exposure comes at a cost, all right? If they do not have the, 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 the financial capability to basically get themselves exposed, they cannot actually have the exposure. In terms of education as well, they would need a minimal level of funding or of some kind of um, financial capability to be able to, you know, attain that. And it doesn't just come easily like that. Yeah, but do you think that the curriculum that we teach our students today can prepare them for the digital future of tomorrow? I would say no. I would say no, because we need to actually rejig our curriculum. We need to revamp it totally, completely, and we need to do quite a lot. If you look at our education sector, you would see that at the early stage education, okay, early years education is actually very, very impressive. Children go from early years education, which is encompasses the nursery education to the primary education and secondary education. Most of the time, you will see when most children actually leave the secondary school education, they are on their way out of this country because of the fact that the curriculum that is at the higher level, which are the universities and polytechnics, as the case may be, do not basically meet up with the requirements of their future jobs and all of that. So I sincerely believe that we would need to actually rejig our education at the higher institution level. Finally, we live in a world of robotics, artificial intelligence, big data, machine learning, and lots of other disruptive technologies. What is that one technology that you think Nigeria should focus on that will make a difference in the next five years? Basically, I consider the internet technology as the basic thing we need to embrace. We need to take advantage of it. We need to improve on penetration. We need to ensure that everyone, it's accessible to everyone at the least cost possible. And one of the uh, projects that we're working on in one of our, uh, uh, of our programs is the, an education project. Now the education project, we found, we've come to find out that um, a whole lot can actually help happen with young ones when they actually come in touch with education. Some of them are beginning to see certain things online, all right? very positive things and they are able to practicalize it in areas of um, robotics as well. They've been able to put together one thing or the other, piece together different elements and they've been able to come out with very, very um, impressive results. So I believe that the internet technology is something that should go around and it should actually you know, go from the, from the north to the south of the country to the east to the west, we, I believe strongly that it should be something that the, the, the government needs to make very available. Great chatting with you today. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. That was Adebi Yoke, Programs Director, Silicon Base Advisory Group, who is of the opinion that a lot more needs to be done to support the growth of technology in Nigeria. I am aware that stakeholders are clamoring for improved funding for the sector, as well as tax holidays for certain categories of businesses in the industry, particularly startups. If you ask me, I think a lot more needs to be done to ensure that Nigeria also plays the game of technology productively, and not just from a tech-consuming nation perspective, because that's where we are today. That's our show for today. Please follow us on social media, and don't forget, you can watch these and previous editions of the show on the channel's TV YouTube account, or via cfeblog.ng for tech trends. I'm Chukameka Agbata.